Thank you for coming back. I'm fine. I hope that you are well too. All right. Now, today we are going to study on electricity and uh, we are touching on the electric charge and electric current. Now, I am charged up to, to, uh, to teach you. I hope that you are equally charged up to learn today. All right. So, uh, once again, a reminder that you must always be answering questions, try out questions, write out answers. Okay, so this is the method to do well in physics. It is not reading. Reading will not get you anywhere in physics. You have to try out, you have to rehearse. Now, at the end of this lesson, you should be able to solve problems that involves the electric charges, electric charge flow, and electric current. You must understand what these terms are. All right, let us pick one examination question and see how we answer this and how we understand these concepts. Now, this is the question. The electric current supplied by a battery in a digital watch is 3.0 times 10 to the power of negative 5 amperes. What is the quantity of charge that flows in 2 hours? Very short question, very simple, isn't it? But there is a lot to it. All right, we will go step by step. Now, we are going to start writing things down. Now, if I need to write things down, you also have to write things down. All right? Do not even touch your calculator first. Just take your pen, your paper, or your book. Start writing things down. You only use your calculators at the end of your steps. All right. Now, the first thing that we need to write is this. What is given, we need to list it. All right. So, we are going to list what is given. The current is given. So, the first thing that I would write is the current I is equal to 3 times 10 to the power of negative 5 amperes. The second thing that I would like to write down is this. The time given is 2 hours. Alright. The first one is the current. The second one is the time. Alright. So, T, small t, the time is given as 2 hours. Alright. Now, these are the only two quantities that are given. So what do I do to calculate the quantity of charge? We need to look at the equations that are given. That is one of the methods. All right, let's take a look at the equation. And before that, allow me to do a bit of magic. All right. Now let's take a look at the equations given. Now automatically, you can tell me that Equation number 22. Looks good. All right. We are going to use that for our answer. All right. So we are going to use Q equals to I T for our answer. Now, what are the values that we have written earlier? Okay. I'm sorry. I have this magic thing here. All right. So these are the units that we have written earlier. All right. Now, the time is two hours we need to change it to seconds. So, 2 hours multiplied by 60, this would give us minutes, multiplied by another 60, and this would give me in seconds. Now, the units are very, very important. I would like to emphasize something else. Let us go back and look at the unit of current. All right? What is it? Amperes, right? But I want to go one step further. I would like you to write this down. The electric current in another unit. What is another unit for the ampere? One ampere is equal to one coulomb per second. This is very, very important. Alright, so far so good? 
Now I would use Q equals to IT. Q equals to IT, what I wrote earlier. Now what is I? I will write down 3.0 times 10 to the power of negative 5 coulomb per second. I will multiply this by 2 times, <coughs> excuse me, 60 multiplied by another 60, and this is in seconds. All right? Now, I'm going to show you something to prove a point. You do it this way, it is very clear. Now, what if I drop the units? What do you see? Just a chunk of numbers. It is not meaningful. If you keep on doing things without writing units, you will be very confused about physics. But if you follow my advice, all right, keep the units there. Every step of the way you have units, the whole concept, the whole idea becomes very clear. And now what do I do? I can cancel off the seconds. And what remains? Coulomb. And Coulomb is actually the quantity of charge. Q is the quantity of charge. It is in Coulombs. All right. Now you can touch your calculators. All right. Now you touch your calculators. You use it. Check it a few times. Multiply it. Okay. A few times. Do your checking on the calculator. And you will be able to get your answer. All right. So your final answer will be this. 0 0.216 Coulomb. All right. So this is the final answer for this question. All you need is a few steps. The important thing is your units must be written. And one more thing that I have introduced today and reminded you is that 1 ampere is also equal to 1 coulomb per second. So choose other questions that involve the electric charge. Use questions that uh, have electric charge, electric current, work it out again and again. Do about 10 questions from this subtopic and then you will be very clear about the concept of electric current and electric charge. Okay. So with this, I'm very sure that now you are able to solve problems that involves the electric charge and the electric current. And once again, with this, I would like to thank you very much for being with me. Alright, and I'm Uncle Pang here saying may God bless you and I'll see you again.